Okay, so um, let's get this started. Um, on this day, 55 years ago, Alan Shepard made his maiden flight in space. And so as part of that commemoration, we are going to uh, talk a little bit about that, but then we're also going to dedicate this mural that the Art Club has been working on for um, over a year. So Shepard's first flight only lasted about 15 minutes, but it put on display the traits that made him a legend. Um, as he trained for his flight, he saw countless rockets blow up on the launch pad, but none of that stopped him from getting into that cockpit and safely returning from his mission. He set aside any fears that he had, and he bravely stepped into the capsule that day. He put his confidence in the team of professionals who had his life in their hands, and they delivered as promised. As you look at this wall, Shepard's flight is depicted right in front of me in the center of the wall. Um, on the aviation timeline from the Wright brothers all the way down here to the F-22 that we have on the other side of the wall, Shepard's historic flight falls almost right smack in the middle. And so here we see the Redstone rocket carrying Shepard's capsule up into space on one side of the door, and then the Freedom 7 capsule with Shepard returning to Earth on the other side of the door, signifying the dawning of manned space flight in America. So let me take a moment here just to, to kind of tell you a, the story of this wall. Uh, Ms. Renfro and I started talking about art projects and beautifying the, the school and ROTC, and we came up with this idea of taking this wall that was orange and white and plain like you know, many other walls in the school and turning it into a work of art. Um, so, I provided her some pictures of aircraft that we could use to kind of represent historic moments in aviation. So if you would just turn your attention to the wall here, I'll, I'll kind of walk you through what you see. On the far left, the very first aircraft you see is the Wright Flyer. It's a very basic plane that was made by a couple of bicycle mechanics, but it is groundbreaking in its understanding of the science of moving in three dimensions. It's the very first um, flying machine and it, it represented a, a significant change in technology. Um, next to that, you have a depiction of Eugene Bullard, who was the first African-American pilot from World War I. Um, next to him is um, Bessie Coleman in the yellow Curtis Jenny. She's a legendary Chicago aviatrix, believe it or not. She's the first African-American woman to fly a plane and she is currently laid to rest in a cemetery in Elsa, just a few miles from here. Um, next to her, the next aircraft you see is Major Richard Bong's P-38 Lightning from World War II. A picture of his wife Marjorie on the, on the nose. Um, Major Bong was the ace of aces in World War II with 40 confirmed Japanese airplanes shot down during World War II. Um, next to him, you have the red-tailed P-51s of the Tuskegee Airmen escorting a B-17 during World War II. Um, and then next to that, you have an F-86, one of the first fighter jets, and it was a legend during the uh, Korean War conflict. And we have the Shepard um, rocket and capsule. Then we have a U-2 aircraft, which played a pivotal role um, averting the Cuban Missile Crisis, and it's even still in use today, so it's been in flying for over 50 years. The B-52 bomber we see up there as well um, made its mark in Vietnam and is still being used today even in, over Afghanistan and Iraq. Next to that you have an SR-71 Blackbird being refueled by a KC-135 tanker representing global reach and just our ability to fly just about anywhere in the world that we need to. Um, beyond that you get into the A-10 Warthog which is a um, from the Cold War to the present day, it's really the best airplane that we have at providing close air support for troops on the ground. The F-117 Stealth Fighter, which is really our first effort at making a stealth aircraft. Uh, the F-16 Multi-Role Fighter, now in its fourth decade of service. And then finally, we have the F-22 Raptor, um, a fifth generation air, superior, air superiority fighter. So I'm gonna turn this over to um, Ms. Renfro. Now that we understand what we're seeing, and she can talk to you a little bit about the process and the people involved in making this mural. Uh, 
unlike Shepard's first flight, this took more than 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, however, this will not. Right, this um, large group of painters is representative of, I have a little sign on the wall, and you can see that the list of, is pretty long. They're representative of the diverse population at Shepherd High School. Although their levels of ability and training vary a great deal, they did a beautiful job of uniting their efforts. Nearly every Tuesday since February 11, 2015, the art club is gathered in the ceramics room. They've each taken a box, bag, half a ladder, stair, or bucket down to the site. The painting process included constant critique, instruction, and revision, not always in that order. The blue paint was the first step. Several of the planes started as cutout stencils, which were created by the students. To get the basic shape started, the stencils were taped by the wall, to the wall. Oh, by the way, that's normal. Um, you know, people walking through, that's normal. <laughs> um, I instructed the students on painting cloud formation, shading, and highlights. We also discussed the use of the color wheel and the process of matching colors. It became obvious that the orange on the bottom was far too much of a contrast. We knew that the wall would be scraped and beaten over the years, so complex design was required there. A rock wall, plants, and distant landscapes were discussed. The students were very excited about painting mountains, which eventually had to be downsized and softened. Although there will always be some rough edges, the students and I are happy with the results. More than a year of hard work has resulted in a mural that represents how many different people can work together. After all, working together is how aviation started in the first place. Well, thank you all for coming out and just taking this opportunity on the 55th anniversary of Shepard's first flight to dedicate this wall kind of in, in his honor and in honor of the other um, aviation pioneers that have really moved, moved this um, branch of, of transportation and military um, forward. So thank you for coming out. Appreciate it.